What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Princess Peach. Last time we started our adventure on this game, we played through the first world today. We are moving on to the second world of this game, but before we begin, you know the drill. Drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys if you played this game, let me know and what did you think of it and here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is, what game series do you like better do you like the new super mario bros series more than the yoshi's island series and the yoshi story games or do you like the yoshi story slash island games more than the uh super or the new super mario bros series let me know down in the comment section below for me i guess i'd have to say the new super mario bros games i haven't actually played all of the yoshi's island and story games i played the most recent one that came out in like 2014 on the 3ds but uh, I don't recall playing anything else other than that. Maybe one day on the channel we'll play through them. I definitely think it would be a really cool, fun idea to do, so I'm not opposed to it whatsoever. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the cho the shop. I was going to say the chop. Well, what are we chopping out here? I'm thinking of chopped toads, you know? It's not really something you want to be thinking about, especially when you're talking to a toad. But hey, it's whatever, man. Let's see what he has. We could buy different umbrellas. Yo, this ability enhances umbrella, allowing you to pound down while jumping. Oh my gosh. And then this is the charge umbrella. This ability enhances umbrella, which will let you charge up a fire blast. And then this one will allow you to float for a while. This ability enhances umbrella. Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm about to buy this one and the pound umbrella. Yes, I'm serious. I want it. I'm not teasing you. F float umbrella is yours, dude. That's pretty cool. So it's just a new ability added to the umbrella. And if you guys don't know, my umbrella is a real thing. It's not just, you know, it's not a materialistic thing. It's an actual being like Cappy. It talks to me. It gives me advice. It makes me feel good. It helps me on my adventure. This is really dope. Look at that. She sits in it like a little teacup. You know, those things on the, at the I guess when you're a kid and you go to the merry-go-round or whatever i don't know merry go rounds an actual thing but i don't know what i'm trying to say it's it's an attraction for kids pretty much the little teacups but here we are the second world so we can now float down i always wondered like how come they didn't do that when i was playing the game yesterday and uh, it makes sense now it makes perfect sense because it's an ability they let you you know get and do so we're gonna try to clear out all this world we might not actually beat it 100 percent i'm not gonna really focus too heavily on finding the toads because you know i feel like i spent too much time yesterday doing that but it's not a bad thing or anything like that it's just if i'm trying to clear a whole world in an episode i can't be spending too much time looking for the toads so let's see what this does oh activating like little ledges okay cool so let's go ahead and see what else we can find in this area i'm sure oh no there's another ledge over this way doesn't actually look like it i think we are yeah we're in the clear now so let's climb the trees man so this game is pretty dope it actually does make me want to play the yoshi's island games the only thing that i had uh that i could say i disliked about the yoshi's island games honestly were um, the fact that you have to stop constantly and throw eggs. I just felt like it killed the momentum. But I know that game is meant to be like a slower paced game. You're not supposed to like rush through it like you are with new Super Mario Bros and whatnot. I'm just killing all these turtles, bro. This is weird. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm going out of my way to kill the Koopas. I'm sorry, Kooplings. You just, well, you're not Kooplings, but I'm sorry, Koopas. You guys are just so cute. I need all of you to myself. So, um, oh no. We can actually swim. I forgot. My bad. I'm sorry. I freaked you all out. You're probably wondering why I'm so freaked and spooked. You know, I just don't want anything bad to happen to the princess. That would just be a real shame. And then Toadsworth would come after me and try to kill me. Whoa, bro. Why do you look so angry? What did I do to him? He's just having a bad day and he's taking out his aggression on me. You need to chillax, man. There's no way to, you know, handle your anger. I'm going to eat you just like that. Thank you. You were so delicious that I want some more. All right. Before I enter this pipe, I'm actually going to enter this pipe. That's what I'm going to do. I think that's exact. Oh, no. I need to do exactly that. Oh, my gosh, dude. Come on. I'm just being hasty right now. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the Banjo-Kazooie game that they came out for Game Boy Advance. Dude, they did came out with a Banjo-Kazooie game for Game Boy Advance. I've never... I had it on GBA, but I just don't remember playing it. Like, I had so many games that I thought I would play, but I just never got around to playing them. Is this even the right way? Did I skip over that toad box? I feel like I did. Woohoo! 
Whoa, that was pretty dope. We bounced off of his head and just got nice air out of it. Okay. Uh. How do I ground pound? They didn't actually teach it to me. Uh, okay, well, whatever. I guess I will never know. But how do you get to that box? I'm very intrigued. I want to know how to save the little toad. Maybe through this? Please tell me this is it. It's not it. What? Well, I did save a toad. You saved the toad. But that's not the one that I was looking for. I have to go back, guys. Come on. You know, I can't leave him in distress like that. Obviously, he's waiting for me to come save him. What kind of friend would I be if I just left him? Maybe in this pipe. Can I go in that pipe? I can't. What the heck? Okay, it definitely has to be this one then. What if I ascend? Woohoo! I can't do anything, dude. Let me ascend again. You can't. It's not working. Okay, so I guess it doesn't work like that. You have to go down through this pipe. So this is a blind LP, obviously, which is why I'm not really familiar with what I'm doing. It's just I'm kind of experiencing everything for the first time right now with you guys. Um, so... I mean, it's a good thing. I like this. It's just a first-time reaction. I feel like doing it like this is way better because I take my time with things. Normally, if I were playing it by myself, I just kind of speed through it, rush through it, you know, and then go back and see if I wanted to find the toads. But I like doing it like this. All right. there. This has to be it, man. I'm assuming this is going to be the pipe that takes me. Oh, my goodness. It really was. I was just being so hasty, and I wanted him so badly that I decided to ditch him. You know, they do that all the time in new Super Mario Bros. games. They, like, they trick you like that. They make you think what you're doing is right, but it's actually wrong. Okay, fine. I'll take the right way. Gosh, game. They really want you to take the more complicated route. I'm going to do it, though. You know, just to please the game. Can I grab him too? Nah, I don't even want to bother, dude. Luckily for me, I did buy that feature. The, you know, float umbrella. It's really coming in handy for sure. I just need more coins though. Oh, that explains it. Why you want coins. Because coins will help you buy stuff. So that's why at the end of the level, you're supposed to try to get like a star. Because you probably get a lot of coins out of that. Bullet bills? Yo! And look at that. Even these blocks look like the eggs from Yoshi's Island. Alright, I can't even get up here, man. Like, what the heck? Do I need to really ascend? Am I really about to do this? Okay, let go. What did this even do? Can I hold it? I can't hold it. I wonder what it will do. Where I could take it. Let me just break this first. Give me the coins. Yummy in my tummy. There you go. I'll take them all. I actually have to run into them to pick them up. It looked like so many coins fell, but in actuality, it wasn't that many. We beat the level, and there's a toad that's missing. What the heck? I need to go back. I need to find him. I bet you I have to literally jump on this bullet bill's head. All right. What? Huh? Are you serious? It's... I'm, I'm gonna accidentally skip over a toad? I cannot have such a thing. He must be back here. I must have skipped over him at the very beginning. Aw, oh, man, this sucks. This is how I ruined the streak. Oh, well, I kind of figured I wasn't gonna find all the toads. I mean, maybe in World 1 I got a little bit lucky because it was the first world in the game. So, you know, I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to figure this out. Unless this thing has something to do with, you know, finding a toad. I don't know what this is, but I'll take it with me to the end. Why the heck not? Whoa, okay, chill. Chill, my boy. We got a turd up! That's one coin, because they're nasty to eat. Is what I would say if I didn't like them. But I don't actually know how they taste, so... Way to go, Sully. You ruined your perfect streak of beating the or saving all the toads 100%. It's fine. I'm not gonna cry about it. Maybe if I like find all the toads in this epi in this uh, level and all the other levels as well, I'll come back to that one and find him just so I can beat it. But if not, it's all good. I'm not even gonna bother. It's fine. I like this level though. It's actually moving slowly. You know, this is a nice reference to old school Mario games or any new Super Mario Bros. games. You know, sometimes they'll have levels like that. Oh my goodness. I literally would have died there. I could have gotten squished by the wall. That's not cool. Alright, let's try this thing. What the heck? So they're just making pipes for me that don't mean anything? So what's the point of these pipes? They're to fake you out. They're to make you think that you can go down the pipe, but you can't. So then you just stop trying to go down pipes. I feel like that's what their motive is. You know, just to, to trick us. Whoa, what is that? Huh? A fruit? Is that what it is? I don't know, but... There's a puzzle piece! So now we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. We got piece 9. 
access it through the map. I still haven't even done that. So I keep forgetting, man. Every time I play a level, I just keep forgetting. Okay, you need to chillax. You stinking little frog. These are the frogs of the Mushroom Kingdoms, by the way. Like, say hello to them. Whoa, that was brutal, dude. We literally killed them. Oh my gosh, dude. You know what I just thought of? What if brutals are called brutals because they brutally beat you? Oh my goodness. I... Why else would they be called brutals, man? Those things are pretty brutal, like, when you think about it. All right, I'm sorry, little Koopa. Oh, my goodness, bro. Like, these things just disintegrate through thin air by touching that. I feel so bad that I'm killing them like that. That's just messed up. Okay, what does this thing do? It's, it's literally a coconut. It's a piece of fruit. That's all it is. Okay, so there's nothing here. I guess I'll leave. I'm just spending... No! Oh! I figured that's what was going to happen anyways. Let me eat you. I'm going to eat you, please. No, no, no. I need to eat you. Mm, I need to eat you as well. Mm, there you go. Delicious. And I need to also maybe grab you just for some some, uh, some magic. There you go. I don't want to leave an area when I'm low. You never know what you'll expect. It'll probably be like a boss. Hey, finally a toad. Finally. All right. So wait, hold on. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ascend, Peach! Ascend! Why didn't she ascend? I don't know. But I, I, I... Oh my goodness. How long can you even fly for? I don't understand. Um. Okay, well, this is not cool. How do I get that toad? Because there's clearly no way to get past through this. Uh. I'm gonna assume it has something to do with killing this duck. There you go. I'm just gonna jump off like that. There you go. Oh! Whoa! I barely did it, dude. Whoa! That was terrifying. You saved a toad. Hey, we saved a little toad. That's all that matters. Just We gotta save at least one. At the very least. Okay, I need to kill you, Perry the Platypus, who is black. It is literally a black Perry the Platypus is what it looks like to me. You know? Except he's not as long. He's just like a squished version down of... Perry the Palatopus, that's what it is. All right, Lackapy, you need to chillax. I know that's what you're trying to do. Oh, wow, these things are explosive. Who would have guessed Lakitu, you know, would have upgraded his bombs? Here, go ahead, drop one right here. See if it breaks. It doesn't break. Okay, well, I just had to double check, you know? Satisfy my curiosity. I wonder if these things will break on his authority. Go ahead, bust it down. It didn't break either. Dude, how weak are his bombs? All right, you need to chill, bro. I'm gonna... I'm... I'm... I'm gonna get... Ugh. Oh my gosh, I killed him. And I got a cloud. What? I can't ride this thing? Oh my gosh, you can ride it. Woohoo! Alright, so the question is, does it disappear? It does disappear. Dang it. So they're really gonna make me look for this toad. I'm sure that's what it is. Does he come back? Lack of pee, you come back? Are you coming back, my boy? I'm not gonna ask you again. Are you coming back? Oh, he is back. Hey, buddy. How's it going? All right. So I'm going to just, you know, do a little bit of skadam. Oh, there you go. S All right. And then just, oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my goodness. This is annoying. And it disappeared. Wow. I'm so bad. Whatever. Fine. I will just leave this place. I bet you it's going to be complicated to find the toad here. Let's just be honest. Like, this place is really massive. This is open. I'm sure there's a ledge that's super secretly hidden somewhere where there's a toad. Okay, what the heck? That looked like a giant barrel that I could land on. Um, can I eat you? I need you. Hey, it's a toad! But it was, that's the second one. Yeah, it has to be. So you see right here how would I collect a toad? It shows that there, I have two already collected. Well, it, it's faking you out. It makes you think like you've collected three. Because, you know, as soon as you hit the box, it automatically puts the toad on the map. So, all right, let me just eat you. Clearly, you just want to die. So, and I beat the level. Wow. So, I truly am skipping over toads out here. This is so sad. A sad day for Mario. You know, he's not going to have any toad friends at the end of this. All right, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. At least I tried. Oh, no. What the heck? Giant piranha plants, dude. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. Just kill them all. Can I go down here? Nope. Again. What's the point of these pipes, bro? What's the point of putting a pipe that you can't enter in? 
Why do they do this to me? This is torture. It's like, I want to go in the pipe, but they're not letting me go inside. Oh, look at that. That's a giant palm tree. That is, it could be a banana tree. Who knows? All right, let's just keep going. Follow the platforms nice and slow. There you go. Woo! I don't actually want to try to flutter for too long. I'm kind of scared to test it out. Honestly, because the first time around that I did it in the last level, I just kind of failed at it. Um, is there a toad here? There has to be. I will eat you, Perry the Platypus. Okay, well, that was... Okay, there is a toad here! I guess for some reason, Peach doesn't want that. She just was like, no. I don't eat... That. Ducks. That's not even a duck. Uh, okay, come on, Peach. You can do better. Ooh! Very nice. I like the music, too, for this game. It has, like, a nice charm to it. And I'm digging the fact that, you know, the second world isn't like the first. It was a little bit more gloomier. You know, it just, the setting of it is, is nice. I like it. I wonder if down here there will be a toad. There, oh, no, 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 no. Spit me out. Whoa. That only took half a heart. That's not bad. Okay, kill the piranha plant. That's what you get, you tyrant. That's what you get for eating the princess. Nobody eats the princess and lives to tell the tale. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, gosh, there you go. Wait, did Bowser eat her in Bowser's Inside Story? I don't remember. I don't think he did. Yeah, that actually did not happen. I would have remembered if it did happen. All right, you just need to die, bro. Like, you can't keep spawning. Oh, my gosh, dude. They're literally like weeds, man. You pluck them out, they come back the next day. Maybe not that fast, but you know what I mean. Weeds are not good. We had a, our lawn guy who tried to, you know, get rid of all of our weeds. He ended up killing our lawn. Oh, my gosh, it's an angry Goomba. Okay, can I, did I just kill myself? I didn't kill myself. You know, I just had to double check. Um, did I screw myself up though by, oh my goodness, I did screw myself up. Can I just ascend all the way up to the top? Please let me know I can make it. Yes, yes, I saved myself. I bet you there's a toad hidden over here. Alright, come here, let me, let me eat you. Hello, brother. I'm gonna eat you like this. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got ourselves the puzzle piece. Access it through the map screen, very nice. Again, I, I don't know what these puzzle pieces do. I keep forgetting, literally, to access them. Oh, I bet you there is a toad over here. I can sense him. You know, Peach has that motherly sense with the toads. Because she knows she can kill him. And make a quick profit off of him. I think that's what it is. Okay, what? Clearly, that's not what it is then. Whoa, it's a naked Koopa. Again, I'm going to eat you. I'm sorry. So, what if I go down this pipe? Does it take me all the way down to the bottom? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to go back. Yep, I definitely need to go back. Unless that was where the toad was. I feel like this is where the exit is, though. Okay, yeah, let me not be here. This is so confusing, guys. Like, I am not even joking. Like, I don't know where I want to go. There's just so much to do, you know? It's kind of overwhelming for Peach. Including me as well, you know? I just gotta... I gotta just stick to something. I need this. Come here, buddy. I need to eat you. They're like falafels, dude. That's what they remind me of. If they were a food, they would be falafel. But alive. What? I just took you back to the beginning? Wait, so what the heck is the point of this? Can I like... What does this thing, though, do? It does absolutely nothing. It's just a giant wheel that has a face on it. Well, that's not cool, game. You really threw me off there. I thought I was onto something. Okay, you need to chill, bro. I don't know why he's so aggressive today. You know, I just hate it when Goombas do that. They're just so entitled to just whatever it is they're entitled to that I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm sorry, dude. That's it. You gotta just get whacked in the back of the head like that. Just make it quick. You gotta make it sure. You gotta make it so it's like they don't see it coming. That's just the way to, to do it. All right, I have to eat you. That's what you get, man, for literally meddling with the princess, taking away her HP. You know, the only thing she has are her hearts. So why would you take that away from her? And her tears. And her love. Okay. Kill Whoa! That actually killed him. Uh, should I... Should I hit it again? There you go. I was a little concerned for a second that maybe I wouldn't be able to break that. Maybe I need this rock because it, like, kind of weighs me down. I feel like that would make a lot of sense, but again, I could very well be wrong. Wow, we killed you with your own shell, dude. That is crazy. I was going to say something, but that's actually taking it too far. Oh my goodness. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I guess we could get rid of that. And then fly over this way. You know what? The thing is, I'm not finding any... Uh, oh, my goodness. You need to die. Oh, no, 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 Peach. Chill. Like, literally chill. Don't get burnt. Oh, my goodness. I told you to chill, woman. Don't get burnt. Okay, we're good. Where are these toads? Why are they so hard to find? They're just so out of place. I don't know where to look. I bet you that's it. We're done with love. Oh, there's a toad. But it's only going to be two toads. Okay, I need this. I need this. I need to eat them. Hurry, Peach. Replenish your HP. I wonder, um... Can I just, like... What? Do I, like, roll this? Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, that was working. It was working. Okay, so let's do that again. What? It was working. How did it move a little bit? Thing is, I'm out of mana. So what do I do? Do I just exit this place and come back and hope? Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to kill you like that. I'm so sorry, dude. Let me at least save one more toad, you know, so then I can make it two. Get two per level. That's 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 better than letting them all rot and die. I mean, come on. What kind of person would I be if I let that happen? All right, so it doesn't work. I thought maybe flying would do something. I just need more food. How do I replenish my mana so quick? I don't think there's a way. Unless I can eat him as well. Nope, it doesn't work. He literally just got killed. All right, I'm sorry, Toad. I'm going to just have to leave you. You know, I tried my best. You can't say I didn't try. Actually, maybe maybe I stand a chance. Mm, dude, this is good. All I needed to do was just exit a couple times. There you go. Woohoo! It worked! We did it, guys! I actually saved him. I was... I thought it was it. I thought we weren't going to do it. But we saved the little dude. I'm glad. So we saved two so far per, per level. So I actually don't feel that bad. Do I hit this thing? What the heck? So what is this pipe for then, huh? If it's not an entrance pipe, then it has to be an exit pipe. So... What's the point of putting an exit pipe there? This game, it makes me ask a ton of questions. I'm sorry, it's... Just, I don't understand it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just I don't really understand it. Okay, so let's go to the menu. And let's see the puzzles. Alright, so what is this? Wait, what? Uh... Puzzle A, you don't have all the puzzle pieces. Okay, I got it, dude, I got it. So, maybe it's not the puzzles then. I guess that's what it is, the puzzles. So yeah, these are... Oh, the this shows you like all the enemies in the game. Okay, cool. Wow, I've encountered a lot so far. There's 89 total, but there's a, a lot of them that I haven't even encountered. I, but a good chunk so far from only playing like two worlds. Like two and a half, or one and a half technically. If each world is three levels, then you know. I've only done about one and a half. Yo, this one looks pretty dope. Can I like whack him? I can't whack him while he's flying, or I guess while I'm climbing this. You know, Peach can only focus on doing one thing at a time. So, we got two more totes to find, and the reason I say two is because I bet you the third one's going to be tough to find here. So, we're not going to bother doing it. What a sad Goomba, bro. Like, why is he crying? Why are they all crying? Is it because they're sick? That's what I think, because why else would they be blue? Unless this is how they are in this kingdom, or in this uh, place. Maybe that's what it is. And every place you visit the enemies look similar but they're different in a sense you know kind of like the bean bean kingdom like it was kind of similar to the mushroom mini game what i unlocked a mini game toad jump access it under the menu on the map screen do i want to play toad jump was it that that game that we played at the beginning of this game where you had to move the toads around because that was not that fun man i'll tell you that right now i wouldn't want to play it so if I accessed it, yeah, no thanks. I'm I'm good. I'll just pass on it. Come on, Goomba! I need you. That's right, dude. She just she was hungry for that protein. Uh okay, so I obviously figured there was something up there, but the question is how do I get up there? Oh wow, I'm gonna have to cry a lot, aren't I? Like a lot. Like you don't even understand how much crying Peach is about to do right now. 
Like she's about to cry herself so much. You're gonna feel sorry for her. Oh my god, I barely made it! They make you barely reach the end with like a sliver of mana left. Dude, that audio track looks just like that mana bar. It started out small, but ended up long. Except mine was vice versa, you know? It started out long and ended up small. Okay, you need to chill. For that, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, ooh, a heart. I'll take it. Um, I feel like there should be some more. Oh my gosh, even this thing is crying? What is up with all these crying beasts? Why is everything crying in this game? Just, It's so sad. They don't like life. It just life makes them want to cry, huh? Too many bats for you to, th uh, to pass? I think I recall that bats hate fire! All right, well, I'm sorry, bats. I'm gonna have to burn you alive. Whoa, never mind. Bats hate fire, but they can't see. Maybe it's just the heat of the fire. I guess anything hates fire. That's a silly thing to say, man. Bats hate fire, well, so do I. All right, Perry the Platypus, we need to eat you. I literally just ate Perry the Platypus. That's disgusting. All right, let me just toss that and then fly over here. I'm sure I'm gonna find a toad, maybe. At least that's what I hope. I need to eat you as well. Sorry, guys. You know, you're all just so delicious. I just can't help myself. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I guess it has to be this way. Because why else would the dude tell me about bats? Unless, oh my gosh. Unless that's him to fake me out, you know? Oh, this is crazy, man. I don't know where to go. There's always alternate paths. I think this is the one where the toad is. I feel like this is where it would be. You know, it kind of has like a little gloom to it, the room. Oh, it is. He's up there. I see him. Woohoo. Just slide like that. Very nice. And do it again. Woohoo. Slide. Very nice. Break that. And then, woohoo. Slide again. Dude, this is dope. I love this game. Uh, all right. Now I got to do what I did before with this. Just kind of... Uh, no, whirlwind around. Oh, I got it, dude. So my issue is when I'm ascending, I hold down the A button to actually ascend, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just let the tornado do its magic. All right, please tell... Oh, my goodness. What are with all these war pipes, man? Somebody needs to explain to me why they... Oh, I got it. Well, I guess not all of them. Like this one, for example. What's the purpose of this? If you can't enter it, what's the point? This one, though, has a purpose. You know, little Goombas are coming out of here, so... It's good for Peach, because if she's hungry, she has endless food. Alright, there you go. I'm playing this with the circle pad, by the way. I feel like using the D-pad would be a lot easier. There you go. To just slide under certain parts like that. There you go. This game was actually created, intended for the D-pad, funny enough. But... I'm using the circle pad. I feel like any DS game is better played with the circle pad than it is the D-pad. Even though they were created essentially for, you know, to use with the D-pad. But, it is what it is. Oh gosh. Oh no! I'm letting you all live today because I'm a nice gal. Well, maybe not you. I, okay, well, maybe not you too. I'm sorry. I lied. I really did. I told them they were gonna live, but I just, you know, proved myself to be a really garbage person by killing them. Uh, the last toad? Wow, Peach, you deserve to clap for me. I mean, come on. I found three toads finally in the fourth level. I didn't, I kind of lost hope this was gonna happen. You know, where three toads would be reunited together in one level. I'm glad it happened though. Oh no, 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 no. Let's try that again. Wow, I literally figured that's what it was. Well, I'm glad I figured it out here where there was nothing to kill me. So, pretty much what happened was, as you saw, Peach's uh, flutter thing barely lasts. Like, it dies out pretty quick, so you don't really want to use it or rely on it too much. It's not like Link's glider from Breath of the Wild. It's, you know, it's not as cool as that. It's still pretty dope, though. You know, it's something. All right. Woohoo! Hey, we made it! And a star for the first time! 50 coins. All right, I was thinking more 100 coins, but 50 coins is still good. I'll take it with a smile on my face. No worries. 
Now we move on to 2-5, and then 2-6 is the boss level, the final level of the world. So I guess we'll just play through this one a little quick. You know, the episodes might be a little bit longer, but that's because I am taking my time to explore this game. It's just one of those games that you just enjoy exploring, you know? I have a really good time exploring this. Like, I I'm not trying to rush through it. It's just, I'm curious what is hidden and where, you know? Like, hold on. For example, that pipe right there. What do you think that pipe was? Think it was an exit pipe? Or is it, an, it's an ascending, ascension pipe. Well, I'm glad I decided to come back, see? Imagine had I just continued on. A little toady here would have died. Oh my goodness, he would have been stuck in this box forever. Well, if I can find him, I just hope there's one here. Otherwise, I feel stupid, you know, for doing this. Oh my goodness, what? There is one hidden back there. But there's also a puzzle piece, so. Yeah, uh, if collecting puzzle pieces is how you 100% this game, then I'll gladly pass on 100%ing it. Don't mind if I do. And by that, I mean eat the Koopa. You know, because that's what we do here. We're sadistic. We eat live Koopas. I need you. I need you, Koopa. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I totally screwed that one up. I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I have to run through this. All right, Peach. You are a big, fat meanie. I hurt her feelings. No! Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Can she jump? She can jump. Had I known that, dude, it would have made my life so much easier. Woohoo! All right. Now I got to make sure I have a little bit of juice just for some of this. There you go. You barely make it with any mana left. That is crazy. You saved the toad. Thank you. You know, round of applause from Peach. I appreciate you. You know, I didn't mean to insult you like that, Peach. You know, you're a good person. Can you go down this pipe now? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just a pipe for show. There's really no purpose to that pipe. However, I guess we can, you know, ruin these jolly old Koopa's days by eating them alive. That's apparently what they, they want to happen. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, dude. I'm eating them literally just out of gluttony. It's not like Peach is even replenishing her HP. There's absolutely no use for the amount of Koopas that I ate. There was no purpose to it. Wow, they do replenish though a lot of your mana, which is dope. I guess it would be called Magic Gauge. I don't know why I'm calling it mana. That does not sound right. All right, whatever, it's all good. Whoa, we almost got hit in the face there. That is not how you treat your princess. Dude, this kind of looks like a, a jungle meant for Donkey Kong. Did you know somewhere on Vibe Island, a very odd enemy awaits? It's shaped like a star. It's been spotted all over from Who Woods to Wavy Beach to Gleam Glacier. Or so I've heard. You have to attack it over and over to defeat it. So be prepared when you find it. I'm assuming it's going to happen now. That's, that's my little guess. You know, I'm going to see a star-shaped enemy that's going to have to be attacked several times. In the face where it's gonna escape maybe soon so wait a second if we got a toad there then where am i supposed to go wait what what the heck man where was i supposed to go hold on this is uh oh duh down this pipe i don't know why i didn't even think about that but there's literally a pipe right there and let's spin this there you go you gooch yeah, it activated something. All right, let's go ahead and just break through all of these. Is it a... I bet you... It is a toad. Oh, my goodness. The second level back-to-back. -back. Guys, you don't even understand how excited I get when I save these toads, bro. Like, it makes me so happy. Like, I get a little way too excited, man. Just knowing that another toad doesn't have to cry himself to sleep. Like, come on, guys. Toads need some love. They just... just Nintendo man, you need to shed some love on toads like all of them not just one toad Nobody cares about captain toad anyways. He thinks he's really like Nigel Thornberry or a great explorer But he's not he's just an imitation of Mario. That's it. You know, oh, it's a bob -omb. Oh, it's another one. All right. Let's just you know, let's just you know work our way Okay, well, yeah, let's you could we could do that too, you know Thank you so much, Koopa, for just standing there, smacking me in the face for absolutely no good reason. I really appreciate it. 
I mean, that's just the best thing in the world. You know, you're just standing there and somebody smacks you in your face. Oh, and we got these crybaby Goombas. You know, we don't really want to deal with these guys right now. Do you really want to deal with the crybaby Goomba? Not me. Who does? It's another mushroom. Ten coins. Bro, at this rate, I will not have enough coins to get the next umbrella by the next episode. So, we're probably going to have to wait a couple of episodes before we get it, but... We'll definitely be able to do it for sure. Now, we are moving on to 2-6, the boss. And this one obviously requires a stylus, which I had one. Oh, there it is. It's on my desk, dude. It blends in with the, you know, the dark color of my desk. What can I say? All right, so we got to... What are we doing? What are we doing here? I didn't even read. What? Oh, you got to roll this. Okay. Well, that's weird. What the... She got stabbed. Are you serious? Did that really just happen? She just got stabbed. I was not expecting that, but I, I see it. I see the little mouth. See, it's like, mm, 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 I'm going to spit on your face. All right. Uh, I see another one. All right. Go, 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 go. Faster. There you go. This is actually pretty easy. A lot easier than the, the jumping one for sure. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Whoa, dude. Her head almost got grazed by that thing. All right. I see. I see three. I see three. Stop. All right, one, two, three. All right, very good. All right, let's go faster. There you go. We passed it. Um, okay, chill, chill, chill. Oh my goodness, Peach. All right, chill. I gotta just wait for this one. I see one and two. All right, just pass it real quick. Oh gosh, no! I managed to save her. Wow, it only took one shot. And uh, let's read this. Just up ahead is a boss of this place, the owl. When it swoops, aim for its head and stomp on it. You think you got an advantage in the air, but you could use uh, joy to fly higher than even it, it can. Uh, stop your joy vibe at the moment when it's directly beneath you to stomp on it. That sounds pretty easy. This is like some Mario, you know, gameplay right here. Some Mario skill tactics. There's a toad. Let me guess. I was going to eat him. Whoa! That looks so dope. It's a giant owl. Dude, this is nice. I'm excited for this one. All right, so we got to hit him several times. Obviously, we're going to watch out for these. Oh, look at these baby owls, dude. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just stomp on his head. So we got one hit on it. All right, so I got to make sure that I use this. All right, just, you know, watch out. Protect myself when I need to. All right, uh, hit these things. Wait for it to come back down again. All right, can I just break the eggs? Yeah, before they hatch. There you go. All right, I'm sorry, little owl. You know, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I was thinking about it. I think I did this before once when I was a kid. Can you replenish your HP? That's what I would think when I think of, when I think of owls right now, you know? Okay, here he comes. Boom, smack dab in the head. He is angry now. I don't think he's going to let us hit him that easily. He transformed to a Super Saiyan. What? He is Super Saiyan Owl. As you can see, he's golden now. All right, this is dope. Yo, what the heck, man? What the heck? I'm gonna just fly. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is so dope. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What the heck is happening here? What is he doing with these Cadbury eggs? Oh! All right, I need to, I need to hit this thing. I need to hit, I think, I think the, I think the way to go is to literally use this and then get over his head and then stop the joy there you go land on his head okay i gotta do this again there you go there you go we did it wow with half a heart man at least i was able to do it on my first try i kind of had this feeling that i was gonna die and having to redo it but luckily i was able to come through and beat the owl in all his glory he didn't answer my question though I guess he's the one who asks the question, not me, but I asked him his own question. But with that, guys, we did it. We completed the second world of this game. have to say, enjoyed it much more than the first one because I had a good idea how to play this game now. And, uh, you know, I just liked the atmosphere. It's a good game, honestly. It's not like, you know, I'm not like being sarcastic when I say this. I actually like this. I'm surprised, like, I really haven't heard of this game sooner because it's, it's a pretty good game. So the same dream, 
Hey, it looks like it's Merlin, but it's not. It's Grandpa, the Grandpa of the Umbrella. I bet you this thing was a creature who was like that. Looks like a minish Santa Claus, but he was turned into an umbrella somehow. And now his journey is to go back to being what he was so he can go be with his family and loved ones, I'm assuming. Must have fallen asleep again. Grandpa, how are you? Ah, there's no time for this. Not now. Once you've rested for a bit, we've got enemies to fight. I definitely agree, man. But we are going to rest for a little bit. And we will meet up again in the next episode where we do Shriek Mansion. What? There's a mansion in this game. Yo, that sounds dope. I'm excited about this. If you guys are also excited, don't forget to drop a like. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.